He's one of your internet users? <laughs> Clients. And we value their privacy, I'm sorry. Well, we have reason to believe that he may have posed for sex pictures. So? With a minor. I'm sure your other clients would want to know that you're doing everything you can to fight this problem. OK. What do you want to know about this Yasmin? Where he is. Just take a minute. Yeah, you can find out anything you want about somebody just from their email address. Oh, sure. Once you're online, we can follow you anywhere. So much for anonymity. <laughs> Well, look, uh, what happens when you click on Amazon? It says, welcome, Olivia Benson. That's right. And that's even before you start typing anything. I mean, every time you click that mouse, you're sending out personal info on these little things called cookies. The internet's like the gigantic tape recorder that just runs 24 hours a day. OK. Yachtsman. Well, his real name's Harry Waters. Waters? Looks like he likes to visit just about every kind of sex chat room. Underage stuff? Yeah, but not exclusively. He also visited uh, mainstream porn sites, programming sites, music sites. What are the music sites? Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, 98 Degrees. My daughter likes them. Waters is about like any of our users. For example, he also liked poker and auctions. What do you buy at eBay? Looks like panties, used panties. He won seven panty auctions in the last year. That, that's disgusting. Very disgusting. You got his home address? It's a work address. So give us that. Universal.net. And their IPO right after we did. Never liked the guy. So why'd you hire him? He was the best. He's a really good programmer. But, you know, after the IPO, we sprung for this huge trip to Cuba. See a game. The yeah. Orioles. Yeah. yeah. It was a big deal, and Waters didn't even go to the game. So where did he go? He said he was sick. Something he ate. So we felt bad for the guy. Decided to get him some souvenirs. We go to his room to give them to him. This little kid comes out of the bathroom. She says in English, you want good time too? We get back to the States and just would look at him, think, what makes this guy tick that a little kid turns him on? Fortunately, he quit right after that. You still have his computer? Yeah, you want it? Yes. We'd love it. No one here would touch it. He was like a contagion. It's all yours. What's this? That's him. His computer hasn't been touched for 10 months, so if we can forget about finding an address for him. But? But check this out. File names for pictures. Girl love, hot 14, horn 18. He's got text file called diary, personal email, school schedules, likes, dislikes, reach for a couple of dozen girls' names. We can take this to the DA. Stalking behavior, possession of illegal porn, intent to distribute? Yeah, that's only if we had the actual files. That's what we did. Only the names. It's like having an inventory list without the inventory. All the real stuff is off-site, like the other end of the phone line. Well, he's covering his ass. So, let's uncover it. Whose phone lines are you using? 718 area code, Brooklyn Heights. Van Eschen. Keith. Keith, that son of a bitch. Guy was just squatting his files in my system, man. It's not even my stuff. Hey, it's your system in your house, Keith. And it's filled with kitty porn. They're not my files. It doesn't matter. Look, someone comes to me, says they want to store illegal stuff in my garage. He's either my best friend or I'm getting something out of the deal. He's not my friend. No? So what's in it for you then, Keith? I mean, you're the one with the pictures of her and the emails and pictures of dozens of other girls. I don't know how that got there. Oh. Do we look like imbeciles to you? Just pictures, man. They're not just pictures! These are underage girls, terrified, drugged, and getting photographed without their permission. You little snot no son of a bitch. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know. You got that? Now, are those your pictures or aren't they? Yeah. Right, and are explaining. <sighs> it started small. Just one girl. My buddy had a falling out with this girl. So he took some nude photos that he took of her and he put them up on the net to get back at her. And you did him that favor? Yeah. But what we didn't expect was all these guys who emailed us asking everything about her. What kind of guys? Guys who saw the pictures, got turned on, and were willing to pay. And thus a business was born. First, it was just girls we knew, girls we were dating, and girls we picked up. But the money was big, and it was real. So we started taking requests. They go, get me a redhead, or uh, I'm looking for a flat-chested girl. <laughs> I don't know. These guys are freaks. Yeah, but they got the money, and you're their pimp. I was just... 
I was just giving people what they want. You know, no, that's what I said. You're a pimp. For Cyber Johns, you're a pimp. Guys like the yachtsman. Yeah. Him and others. What about the money? They paid in net cash. They paid in credits on websites. It's all untraceable cyber bucks. That was the genius of it. To muddy up the waters. To keep the cops away. Nice try.